It's one of the best treats to have in the summer, sweet corn. Ooh, baby. This year, Minnesota farmers are expecting a bumper crop. Yeah. Kim is live on the CCO rooftop learning some new ways to make it. And Kim, please package me a plate and bring it down. Okay, Jamie, we will work on that. First, we have to learn how to make some interesting sweet corn this morning. Joining us is Kirsten Shabazz of Valley Natural Foods. Thank you so much for getting up early with Thank us. Thank you. I'm so excited to get started because yes. we've got lots to talk about. Lots okay. to talk about. So sweet corn, it's in season. We want to grill it. A lot of people do the soaking in the husk method. Yes. It's, it works, but it takes a half hour. It takes a lot of time. This is a great thing. So brush some coconut oil. Okay. You're going to put coconut oil on this corn. You're going to brush it on there. Just make sure it's got a good coat. You're going to wrap it in foil, Kim. You're okay. going to put it on your grill. About 15 minutes. About every five minutes, I kind of turn it just to make sure. Okay. And it's good to go. Coconut okay? oil, huh? Coconut oil. And Never that makes it that. taste really good. Now, Love a, it. a trick is you're going to make some flavored butters, okay? Take your lid of your butter. You're going to mix together. I've got two different kinds of butter for two different flavors. One's a chipotle lime. So you can kind of do a Mexican with some cotija cheese. You got lime wedges. The other one is a citrus honey butter. Okay. Oh my goodness. So when you mix your ingredients together, you're gonna kind of push it down into your uh, lid of your butter. You're gonna wrap the saran wrap around it or wax paper and then freeze it. And you've got beautiful flavored sticks of butter. So it comes out in that kind of shape. It does. Yeah. It's a perfect shape. Okay. So tell me the ingredients real quick of that again. Okay. So the chipotle butter has chipotle powder. You could use fresh chipotles sure. if you want. You've got lime zest, lime juice in there, okay. a little bit of garlic. The other one has um, orange zest, lemon zest, a little orange juice, honey, and then I put chives in there as well for just a little contrast. Really easy to do, and that's Very something easy. that would last uh, a couple nights. And you can use it on many sure. things, yes. Okay. Now, let's do this. Okay, we've got a hot pan here. Will you dump the corn in there? Sure. So, so this is something you can do. You can uh, take make a the corn, corn relish. A corn oh, well, we're going to oh. put it in the pot. Oh. No, it's all good. Okay. We're going we're gonna to already messed no. up. <laughs> Okay, why we're gonna fry. Yep, yeah, we're gonna fry this. Let me turn this off here. We're gonna fry the corn up. So okay. you mix that up. I'm gonna put in some. Um, we've got some fennel. Okay, and okay. Now, sometimes people will do a vinegar-based corn relish and um, kind of like a pickling. This oh. I kind of like to saute because again, it's quick. You're using fresh corn. You kind of get that pop is this of sweetness. Just one ear of corn. That's about. It? It's about two ears of two. corn. Two to three. We're gonna put in some spring onions. Spring onions Ooh. are still in season right now. Oh. They're not as sharp. The red spring onion is not as sharp. It's like a green onion. Okay. And then for a little heat, we're gonna put in some um, serrano chili. Look okay? how colorful this is. Very wow. colorful. And again, we've eaten so many hot dogs, so many hamburgers, or chicken, or fish. You can put this on any of on that. Anything. Let's show the hot dogs. Of what you got going on? Little hot dogs. Yes. So this is what you're putting it on with a hot dog. With a hot it's dog. Yeah. Relish. Yes. Now here's the thing too is when you're done, okay? So we're, we would pour that in here. Okay. We would toss in, and I'm just going to put this in the pan. We're going to put in this is lime juice, lime zest, a little bit of uh, cumin in there, okay? Ooh. So it just gives it a little bit of a flavor. And then what you do is just refrigerate that. For how long? Well, you can refrigerate it for a day or two. And that's what make, gives it that relish kind it of It just feel. gives it kind of a relish feel without you having to jar it for days oh and days gosh. on end. I could just eat this as it is. It, it looks so good. It would be very good awesome. as a side salad. Well, thank you so much for showing us thank these you. awesome tips of how to maybe spice, uh, spruce up your sweet corn this mm -hmm. summer if you're looking for a change. You're not going anywhere. Uh, no, you're gonna I'm be not. back here at six and we're gonna be talking about something a little bit more out of the box even than this. Yes, but something fun. So taking a waffle and adding sweet corn to your waffle. Oh. Sweet corn, waffles. Have I sold you guys yet? Yes. yes. Everybody's yes. in. And that, Everyone's hot, in. All right, that's coming up in just a bit. Down. Yeah. Oh, they look good. Good stuff. Thanks, guys. Sure. Oh. Yeah. oh, if you love wow. sweet corn, you're in for a treat. Oh, that looks so good. Nobody loves sweet corn quite to the degree that Jamie Yukas does. Minnesota farmers are expecting a bumper crop. The growing conditions have just been perfect, perfect. this year. Yeah, so Kim is up on the CCO rooftop with some new ways to enjoy sweet corn. Hey, Kim. Hey, Jamie, Jason. Well, you're in luck. It is breakfast time, and guess what? You can incorporate corn with the breakfast. I love it. Kirsten Shabazz from Valley Natural Foods is here with us to show us how it's done. What do we got? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic waffle mixture. So if you'll put a cup of flour in your bowl, you're going to do one? the dry ingredients. Yep. Okay. So two scoops of that that's a half cup okay. and then what we've got is we're gonna put um, a little bit of sugar a little bit of uh, baking powder in here and then some pepper and salt okay. so you're gonna add a little pepper to your base kind of get that savory flavor throughout your waffle while you do that I've got an egg we've got some milk and then we're gonna use some melted butter okay, okay. so typical and waffle ingredients typical so waffle yep now you can pour that one in and I'm gonna I, this butter you have melted butter in there that just really helps give little pockets of um, just beautiful flavor in there okay. okay now with your spatula I'm gonna pour in the liquid if you'll stir the liquid and the dry together sure okay I can do this now here's the beauty of this is is that you when you have a waffle 
uh, recipe that you like. You can do anything with it. We're talking today, like you said, about utilizing your sweet corn. Now, have you ever had it where you have sweet corn and there's always a couple ears or, or yes, left over? and you have to eat it before it goes bad. Be before it goes bad. So you cut it off the kernel. It's already cooked. You're going to dump it into your batter. Just the whole corn. Just, just the like whole that. kernel. Yep, you don't need to mash it or puree it. You want those bits, Kim, of that, just that little pop of sweet in, in each bite, okay? Wow. We're going to put some cheddar cheese in there. Ooh, okay? And then and I'm going to Yep, I'm going to move that flour. And then we've got better. green chilies. Is that better? Oh, is that, does so that, that adds a little bit of a A little bit of a there. kick to okay. that. Yeah, okay. So now you're going to mix wow. all that up. Now, I've got some batter right here. I've got my little waffle maker, okay? We're going to pour the batter in there. So how how many ears of corn? Just one or two? So again, it's it's just a couple. It's just a couple cups. You're gonna put maybe t about an ear is about a half a cup. Okay. So it just depends. Some kernels or some ears of corn are bigger than others. So it sure. just depends on what you've got. Okay. Okay. Now what we've got here is remember in the last segment we talked about the citrus butter. Yes. The citrus honey butter with some chives. You've got some lemon oh, zest, some orange zest. Oh, that would be so good on here. You can easily. That's just your simple basic oh waffle. Goodness. Okay. So okay. you're gonna put that in there. Then the other thing that you can do is you know eggs Benedict is such. Uh. It's a hot recipe or a hot breakfast item. So talk about poached eggs, some tomato, some, um, uh, what is that? Uh, I want to say guacamole. Thank you. Thank you. Well, avocado. 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 Well, there you go. Yeah, avocado. And now taste that and see what you think of I that little piece this. of corn. Can we get a close up of this? Because I want to see. You can see that there's actual like corn. The little in kernels it in there. That are absolutely gorgeous. All right. Yeah. I'll just tell you how it is. Okay. And it's just kind of fun. And here's the thing is, is you're utilizing your leftovers. Sweet corn is only around for a short period of time. So you want to get it. And this again is just a different way to do breakfast. It is amazing. You can like actually feel the crunch of the sweet corn in there. Yep. You get that little pop, little texture difference. I'm telling you, make this for breakfast this morning. It is worth it. And we have the recipe on our website, WCCO.com. Thanks so much for Thank coming in. Thank you for having me. Jamie, don't fret. I'm bringing you back some <laughs> corn. I know that you're panicking about it right now. No, I look some for you. The only thing I'm concerned about is like, do you do syrup or salsa? Oh, there you go. Life, life decisions there. Thanks, guys.